Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Willy Lu, and I just came back from China this morning. And uh, I'm going to present uh, for this workshop uh, with the topic Mobile Internet, Internet Technologies based on the OWL platform. And I believe in the, in the future mobile communication industry, mobile internet and open wireless are two issues, biggest issues in the industry. And uh, uh, that's very important. That's why we also focus on these two issues in my 4G IND centers in Shanghai and also in Shenzhen. Uh, we're working with almost many uh, handphone partners in Shenzhen and the developing the next generation mobile phone, so based on techno technologies. So my topic today is talking about the mobile internet technology based on the OWA platform again. The first issue, uh, I always, I repeated uh, this issue almost for 10 years. And uh, 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 my research, my research uh, found, found that uh, one single radio transmission technology cannot support both broadband high speed transmission and also the seamless mobility. Uh, that's impossible in a commercial environment. And how to solve the problem? Uh, uh, we, need to we need to converge multiple wireless standards into the same platform. Then we can support both broadband high speed transmission and also seamless mobility. So, no single wireless standards cannot do everything. Cannot do everything. It's impossible. I mean, if you say it's possible, that's is hype. So I can tell you it's impossible. So how to support both broadband wireless transmission and seamless mobility? We have to use multiple standards and converge together in the open platform. So that's the issue. I think uh, uh, a lot of people have, have made a mistake today, but we have to clarify that that's the future. And then I'm talking about uh, in the future, smartphone, we have to separate OS and RTT, radio transmission technologies. So in the future, uh, we need to support multiple wireless standards, as I say, WiMAX, Wi-Fi, uh, CDMA, uh, different CDMA, Edge, and GSM. And also we have to support different OS, uh, because there are too many OS on the market there. So we have to support multiple OS. So in order to support multiple OS and also multiple RTT, we call radio transmission technology, we need a virtualization layer between them. We call open wireless architecture virtualization. So that's I proposed uh, almost all, also 10 years ago in the IEEE Communication Magazine. So that's is is and then how to implement it? Basically, the OW virtualization, virtualization layer it's a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a layer between the system level and also the transmission level. So below this OW uh, virtualization layer, we have different RTTs, wireless standards, and above there we have different OS and also the application there. So uh, 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 by using the virtualization layer, so each side looking through the other side is a common platform. So that's open architecture. So, so, and then we can converge the different radio transmission la layer and also the different OS layer into a same platform. So that's, that's, that's called virtualization. So uh, that's we already implemented in our uh, device side and also system side. So this issue. And how to implement this uh, OWA virtualization layer? We have one uh, baseband chipset, we call OWA baseband chip. We can implement this one. Uh, we're already working with the partners there and the chips are already, already available. So inside our chips, there are a couple of functions there. The, the first issue is wireless adaptation and the virtualization sublayer. Basically, they can uh, map different baseband signals, IQ signal into signal traffic and also the open interface parameters, which represent the different wireless standards. And then we go to the OWA baseband processing sublayer to process the different open wireless standards uh, into a com common platform. And then we can uh, uh, support the, the principal OS and also the supplementary OS. The supplementary OS uh, comes to the virtual machine uh, uh, and then comes to, uh, sub, uh, comes to the, uh, the principal OS. So we can support multiple OS. And on the left side, we have a bus architecture we call OWA BIOS interface, which is compatible to the computer BIOS. So we can support a computer architecture thing, converge together. And then we bring the different wireless standards, uh, which we call open interface parameters, into the uh, 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 external memory card uh, or SIM card. So it basically means what? In the future, the SIM card also can carry the different wireless standards. So in the future, when you change the standards, you don't have to change the device, you just change the SIM card, then the standards can be changed. So that's the basically of a revolutionary approach. So we also define the next generation SIM cards right now in China uh, uh, to support this, this architecture. So this is everything put in one chipset is already uh, in, in the implementation. 
And inside this chip there, I just mentioned, is a sublayer we call OWA uh, baseband processing to, to, to process the different uh, wide standards in the open platform. That's uh, and, uh, we call o OWA uh, platform, baseband platform. Uh, this platform actually has been already used by the almost 20 chip vendors, leaders in the Silicon Valley, or also in Europe. So uh, uh, major leading, uh, leading vendors or chip vendors uh, uh, supporting the, the smartphone devices, they, they're already using our technologies. So this is already in the market there. We also have a reference testing emulation board available in, in the you know, Shanghai IND Center. So this is technologies. And uh, also, we, uh, uh, based on this techno all the technologies there, in the infrastructure side, we can convert the like office phone, home phone, and mobile phone into one single devices. So basically, when you bring the uh, mobile phone back to uh, back to home or office, uh, once you get the the, the Wi-Fi or wireline connection, whatever, you can release the three G cellular resources and then connect to the local Wi-Fi uh, using IP connection there. When you when you when you back to the street, then you back to the three G cellular. So the user. Uh, feel very, I mean, open. You don't have to just automatically, everything is automatically configured. And also, we don't have to change the, the existing infrastructure. I mean, the service provider can continue their CDML, 3G, Wi-Fi. We don't have to change anything on the infrastructure side there. So that's a very smart way to converge everything together. And this is a very good approach. It's already in the products. We call converge multiple networks access in one mobile device. And then this is a real product. It's a handphone product already. Uh, in the production in the in the in the Shenzhen and uh, developing the next generation 4G uh, mobile smartphone, we can support a 3G, 2G, and GPS, mobile TV, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, WiMAX, and everything together into one platform. It's an open platform. So if you do not use it, you just remove. You can remove it. If you use it, you just put in uh, uh, most of the standards. You can put in a SIM card there. So it's different from the existing. Uh, solutions there are a couple of multi multi mode handphone but you cannot remove it is but this is an open platform you can remove the, the car and remove the standards if you don't want to use it so that's the real products and the software platform if you see the software from physical layer we have OWA hardware reference architecture we can support the 2G 3G Wi-Fi uh, the Bluetooth GPS FM radio whatever and then software we can in the in the middle layer we can we have OWA code and the OWA base uh, Baseband components, including OW uh, SIM card modules, you can put the standards in SIM card, uh, and then in the, in the high layer we have application. You can support the Google application, Apple application, uh, the almost the same application. We, we have all the application uh, like from iPhone or from the Google phone. Uh, we have everything there. So that's the software platform based on OW. And then we have a smartphone products also. Oh, we have a smart home, and also wireless sensing product networks in the home. We converge the existing uh, broadcasting uh, 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 telecom uh, communication uh, at home. So we have a top box, top uh, set box, set top box in the home. So we call ambient home routers based on the OW stations there. So we can converge everything there, make the home smart. So that's the issue. And also we have OW, we have OW uh, uh, set top box. We also can converge the different uh, into one box there for the home user, for the office, for the, for the enterprise application. Uh, oh, so there's a real products, uh, everything together. So like Cisco and Microsoft, uh, they spend a lot of investment on these products. And then we have converged the uh, uh, communication at home, office, and unload into one device with one number. We call one device, one number, and one dream. Uh, that's very important product uh, uh, for, the, for the next generation technologies. That's all my presentation there. And for more information, you can email to me, uh, wwlu at org. Okay, thanks.